the Ra of the Quran yes. is an invention. Okay, so so it's an invention. So. Okay, so can you give me the definition of Yahweh? Give me his attributes. What is it? Who is it? Yeah. What's his attributes? What's his essence? Yahweh is the creator of all things. Creator of all things? Everything. Everything. Does he have a beginning and end? But is that. No. He doesn't have a beginning and end. Okay, is he independent? Yeah, you get a lot of mega pastors in America where they take all that money. They're worth millions of Sorry? And they abuse that trust. No, no, don't Independent, yes. Okay, he's independent. I'm asking a simple question. The one who's created everything, the one who is self sufficient, the one who is independent, how on earth does he come into the creation as a man? Simple question. How? Father of God. Right. Okay, how? Okay, one second, because what you do is the moment you say this, you're turning the necessary being into a dependent being. Because a dependent being is some a thing that is dependent, is contingent, cannot be, uh, and it can be any other way. So I'm saying, if he comes into the creation, he becomes dependent. What did we say God is? Independent. So did God come onto earth? This is why we don't use the... That is why we avoid the word God. Because no, no, I'm talking Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. No, I'm Yahweh. Talking, okay, we're talking about the Father. Yahweh. The son, where we're talking about the Father. I'm talking about Yahweh, Yahweh. Did Yahweh come to earth? The, the, the Father, the Son, the Yahweh. God, the Son, God, the Son. That we call that being that was named Jesus Christ definitely absolutely did. Okay. okay. Did Yahweh come to earth as Jesus Christ? What do you mean by Yahweh come to earth? Yahweh. Often times in our scriptures, when you read the word Yahweh, it is referring to the Father. Thank you. So did, did often Yahweh? Times, often yes. Times. Yes. So we need to see each. Okay. So I'm talking about those often times. The Yahweh, which is the Father, did Yahweh at any moment come to earth? When you say come, he did not. When you say father, come, the no, the, the father. Yes. Did the father incarnate itself or come to earth as the yeah. son? Okay. No, it's not as the son because yeah. the son is independent from the father. Okay, let me get this right. So then we, okay, father, yeah. Yahweh, and there's Jesus. Yes. So how many gods are there? What do you mean by Yahweh? There is one God. God. Okay, one second. Rewind, rewind. Yes. Yahweh, one. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. two. Continue. And it's a bit like. Continue. Jesus too? No, you, you, you're misunderstanding. Thanos. Okay, so let, let me... Very, look, very simple. Yeah. Yahweh and Jesus. Excuse me. Didn't Jesus say... You're misunderstanding. That, that, that's your problem. So let me explain to you. I'm asking a simple question. He's been asking, he's been asking questions. No, no, no. He's, not, he's not understanding. Yahweh... I will explain to you. Yeah, but, yeah, but my friend. Yahweh and there's Jesus, yeah? Even the Word. No, In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. You just made an error when you said there's Yahweh and there's Jesus. He said that. He said that. Oftentimes, I explain to you, yes. oftentimes in our scriptures, yes. when you read the word Yahweh, yeah. you, you need to look at the context to see whether or not... Ask me about Allah. There's no context. Look, Allah, let me tell you something. Allah is one. There is nothing like him. He's the creator of the whole universe. He deserves worship alone. He doesn't enter his creation. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. One, okay, so, so, so you got that from your Quran. You got that from your Quran. Yes. Okay, okay, fine. So I'm saying, asking okay, about Yahweh. Where is the evidence? Guys, Harry, fa evidence thank you, thank you very much. That the Quran yes, can I existed in, 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 in 632. Where's your evidence? Oh, no about, problem, no problem, no problem. No problem. What you've done now, what you've done. What you are you no, no, shaking your head? No, no, no. Did, you know why? I'm talking he about. He to talk about I'm Allah. talking about the essence about of God. Listen, he, sir. He started to talk <laughs> about the Allah of the Quran. Sir, the sir. The Allah of the Quran is sir. an invention. Sir, sir. <laughs> sir, I'm the saying. Allah, come sir, on, come on. I'm you talking are, about you God. Have zero evidence. Sir, I'm talking about Allah, Yahweh. You're talking about the Quran. I'm talking about Allah and we're Yahweh. Talking about, we're talking about God and God. As God in your religion is different to God in our religion. Well, you, that's what I said to you. Yeah, okay. Well, you are using the same word, yes. but we mean different things. And, and I, I told and, you what and, we believe. And I'm happy to talk about God yeah. in my religion and yours. We're talking okay. about both. But let's talk about both. that. Yeah, We're talking about both. Right. Okay, can we okay, both okay. agree? We, 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 we will, and, and you are getting your information about your God from your Quran. Yes. Right. So I am asked, I, as far as I know, yes. there is zero evidence mm. of a Quran existing at 6. Oh. 32. I think there is also zero yeah. evidence of a place. We don't have any archaeological yes, evidence. We don't. No, no, please don't. Don't. Hey, you're don't recording have, me. Don't you're have, recording me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, man, it's been here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have any archaeological evidence 
sir. We don't have any archaeology, and it is important sir, because sir. anybody we have more evidence. can invent a religion. We have more evidence the Quran exists than you could ever about the Bible. Ever in your life. I said six. Sir, 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 sir. Six this Quran, there is more evidence than there could ever be for your Bible. Everybody so let's not go to scripture. Let's not go to scripture. I'm talking about the essence of God. I'm going to the essence of God. Do you accept? Do you accept that Yahweh is Yahweh independent? Is Yahweh independent? There is zero evidence of a Mecca. One last time. Is Yahweh independent? Zero evidence. I'll talk to you. Is Yahweh independent? Where Muhammad lives, uh, a person of in order for morality to exist. Yes. But we have morality and we don't believe in the Trinity. I would take issue with why Islam defines morality No, you're wrong. No, this is that funny? Sure. Just to be fair, okay, so we no, can no, hear no, you. No, 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 sure, no, 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 there's no, 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 Thank you. Thanks. Uh, you so I would wrong. say Allah can change his nature. Ask me no, in my wrong. Do you know what? If this, I'm wrong, Allah can I gave the mic to him. I gave it to him. That's Allah the deceiver. Turn the camera. Sorry. Stop. Turn the camera here. Listen, listen, listen. You have to correct me if I'm wrong. Please, bro, bro, bro. No, no, hold on. Stop. Do you know what you need to do? Can you guys, we're having a conversation here. Bro, I beg you take him that side, please. No, no, no. Go take him that side. That's the evidence. That passage. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what was your, what's your name? Mark. Mark, my name's Ali. Okay, so let's just start again. Let's start fresh. Okay. So what I'm saying is in a nutshell, we believe God Almighty has nature. Yes. Um, he has attributes. Yes. There are things that he can do. Yes. And there are things that don't befit his majesty. Yeah. Now, when I say it doesn't befit his majesty, I'm not saying things God cannot do. I'm not putting a barrier. I'm saying within his nature, it won't happen. For example, would we both agree that God cannot cease to exist? Yes. Good. So what that means is we agree that this is not a limit to God. It's, a, it's, it's just his nature. To yes. so someone to come and say, well, God is weak because he can't cease to exist. It's just, it's just stupid, silly person. So what we're saying is, in his nature, we believe his lordship, which is Robobia, that he is the owner, the sustainer, and the provider. His lordship. So he created us. He didn't have Prophet Muhammad there. He didn't have Jesus there. He didn't have Moses there. He did it himself. Then we have his Ulihia, which we agree. Okay, good. So in his Ulihia, when it comes to we're singling out him in his worship, this is where we differ. And his asma was safari, his name is no, natural. No, no, stop, stop, stop. We say God is independent. That fragment, yes. that yeah? fragment. What is well, that fragment? in your definition, Brothers, Allah, please. Well, I can't hear, please allow it. Yeah. Allah can say? love, but the Christian conception is God is love. No, no, okay. And God I, I is love yeah. because wait, wait, wait. God um, no, no, exists no, no, in a relationship okay. of three do, do persons. You know okay. you know Whereas Allah, he's referred to, please correct me if I'm wrong, yes. but as the deceiver it's, it's, in certain parts no, of that's, that's wrong. Is that wrong? That, the, the, to call him his attribute. So, for example, there are things which we learn uh, from the studies in Akhidat al yeah, is that when God Almighty does something, it doesn't mean that's his. So, for example, there was a time where God Almighty. For example, plotted against the Jews who were trying to uh, crucify Jesus. So just because he plotted, we don't call him the plotter. Or just because at that moment the Jews were deceived because God Almighty is protecting his prophet, we don't say God Almighty is a deceiver. Because, for example, you might have an undercover cop going undercover on the mafia. To, and he's, if you think about it, it's kind of deception. But what he's doing is good because he's trying to take them down for the harm that they're causing. So we do not call him the deceiver. All right. He plotted because Allah said, indeed they plotted and Allah plots and Allah is the best of pl a plan and he's the best of planners. If that makes it, just to answer that question. No, it's okay, thanks for your honesty. Um, well, yes, no. I think where, where we disagree, obviously, is that yeah. Allah has to be yeah. one single solitary being. Yes. And, you know, Christians conceive of the three in one yeah. as sort of a Neapolitan ice cream. Yeah. Um, 
and that doesn't uh, provide us with any sort of problems. Instead, it suggests that God can be loved because it, he is relational. Yeah. And it suggests also that God doesn't have to create us in order to worship him okay. because God existed in a relationship at, of love before creation itself. Okay. Um, but I think we, we probably exhausted that one. Yeah, we did. We, we believe that God Almighty yeah. is the most merciful, even if there is no creation to be merciful towards. Yes. So he is deserving of worship, even if there is like, no creation. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So we don't say God is only merciful if there's creation. La. We believe God is the most merciful, that's his innate attribute, and he does not need creation in order to have the attribute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about Christ's crucifixion? So the crucifixion, we believe, that yes. Allah says in the Quran that they try to crucify him. Allah says they did not crucify him, nor did they kill him, but God Almighty raised him to himself. He saved him from the plot of the, the, the Jews at the time. Right, so the Quran would affirm the crucifixion of Christ? Yeah, no, the Quran rejects it. It says that he was not crucified, nor was he killed. It wasn't. Yeah. Well, how does that square with historical evidence presented in scripture? Mm -hmm. How does it square with um, all these historical accounts? Yeah. Um, does that not raise you know, some problems? Not really, because when you're talking about historical accounts, who are the people that saw Jesus Christ being crucified? Because we have an Isnad, for example, we have a science of Hadith. So this science tells us that when the Prophet, peace be upon him, uttered a statement, there was people that saw that and uh, conveyed that to their students. I have a chain, my Quran teacher, that goes back to the Prophet Muhammad. From his teacher, from his teacher, that goes all the way back to the Prophet Muhammad of how we recited the Quran. So we have transmission and reliable sources. So what we're saying is who were the people that we can test and see that did these people really see Jesus being crucified? Did the accounts match? Are they reliable? Did they live at his time? Did they even meet him? But I would find them reliable How? in the sense that they provide embarrassing details that you wouldn't want to be seen, you know. But that doesn't make it be... right though, because well, if, if, if there's 20 of us and we all come to account and make a embarrassed, I don't know, whatever it may be, yeah. we need to know, do you have any well, evidences generally, of generally these individuals? People, if it's an embarrassing detail, they wouldn't want to have it um, enthroned forever in scripture. Okay. Embarrassing details means yes. you might not have the person's best interest in mind, yes. or it means that you're being objectively honest about everything. Yes. Now the first one is very dangerous. If I'm saying embarrassing things about you, it might be an attack yeah. to your character. No, but they were conveying embarrassing but, but who, who, who are these people? So, who are the people? For example, Peter, denying Jesus. Okay, All Peter. abandoning Jesus. All okay, so Peter, who else? You've got the 12 there. Okay, yeah. Peter, Mark, yes. Matthew, yes. Luke. Yes. What information do you have about these characters? The who were they? Because the church fathers, yeah. they talk about the, 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 who are these people? Like John. Who's yeah. John? Which John are we talking about? If you read Jerome's new commentary of the Bible, yes. he talks about these individuals. Who are they? Some even say this name that's given is not an individual. They were a group of people yeah. and this name was given as, okay, this is Mark. Yeah. We know nothing about them. The Prophet Muhammad, his companions, we have biographies who Umar ibn Khattab was, who Abu Bakr al-Din was, who Zayd ibn Thabit, who was, who was Hudayfa ibn Yaman. We don't know we, nothing about them. Okay, we but that's that, the point. You know, there, there were obviously several generations before it was written down. Exactly. So how but do we that rely on necessarily present us with problems because, yes. I mean, scribes were very rare in those days. And so but all, that's problematic. all information, well, not necessarily, all information was conveyed through word of mouth. But, but look, look. Actually, people's word of mouth was a lot more... Look, we have the same tradition, we have the oral tradition. I don't have an issue with that. I'm saying, how do you verify? With us in a chain, science of hadith, we look at the person. Is he a Muslim? Is he sane? Is he an adult? Does he have any bad moral conduct? Was he known as a liar? Did he commit major sins out in the open? It disqualifies him. If they say, you know what, this person, used to deceive people, they reject narrations from him. But all of, all of that story is just the character judgment of the yes. individual. We also do a lot of historical checks. Which yeah. is, was this person in this locality at yeah. this particular time? Was yeah. yeah. he born at this particular well, time? Yeah. We, I mean, there is archaeological so, evidence. But historically, um, of, and there's a lot of detail in the gospel but just, as well. No, 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 no that's, um, the, that's the gospel as in the scripts and all of that. I'm talking about these individuals. Is yeah. there any historical okay. 
evidence. One second. Support, support, sorry. The mic's not picking you up. So yeah, you, yeah. either you need to come close because so because because you know what? Yes, because they're not gonna look what I'm saying is in a nutshell, in a nutshell, that when it comes to God Almighty's attributes and essence, the crucifixion is all discussion. I'm yeah. talking about God's essence, okay? Yeah. He's independent, he's self-sufficient, yeah. there is not nothing like him, and he's not composed of pieces. Okay? Yeah. So what we're trying to say is that God Almighty is one and he deserves to be worshipped alone. He does not have co-gods with him. Yeah. yeah, because this is the, what we reject as Muslims, this notion of co-gods and they have a power, etc. Christianity wouldn't refer this, to them as co-gods. They no, are you say they're equal. equal well, exactly, which is even worse because we're saying, because when you say, if they have the, both the same power, this is a problem. There's only one all-powerful. That's the reason why the Father is always referred to by Jesus as Jesus always turning to him. Because he is the absolute one that is actually, because in the beginning it was the Word. And the Word was with, with God. And the Word was God. So the beginning, the word was with God. Yeah. So you're always referring to a hierarchy so of someone at the top. Where Christ is referred to as the word. Yes. So that is how Christians conceive of God. In the beginning, the word was God. In the beginning was the word. Was the word. The word the was word was, was with no. The word was with God, and the word was God. Yeah. Yes. In the beginning was the word. The yeah. word was with God. Yes. Word was with God and the word is God. It's, it's interesting two gods. using three sentences to sum up that. Yes. Wait, how many, sum up God. Yeah, 